And man, what 24 hours, such a different story. We're out here, it's hot. You would have never known that storm came through here and caused that damage. Yeah, that's right, Cher. Those summer monsoon storms bubble up fast and oh, they can make some quick work of some damaging situations. That hail on the road was so incredible. How about the time lapse today off of Ensign Peak? Look at these storms that blew through the Salt Lake Valley. Fast moving, a little bit of rain and as quick as they came in, they moved out. And out popped the sun and up went the temperatures. In fact, we're up flirting near 90 degrees at this hour. Vernal, still some dark clouds. Rain has been out in the Uinta Basin and the northeast corner of the state this afternoon. It's about the only spot that is still getting some precipitation, kind of holding on. Some of the rainfall totals, this is just today, Oakley a quarter of an inch. Mountain Dell the same. Roosevelt picked up 0.24. Strawberry Reservoir had two tenths. South Jordan, or excuse me, South Salt Lake picked up 0.18. Sugar House, 0.16, and how about Red Butte picking up 0.05 with a little shower that just drenched the University of Utah's campus this afternoon. Little bit still going up. This is south of Lyman, a little thunderstorm that's rumbling through. You come back over into the Utah side, and yes, just outside of Duchesne, south of Roosevelt and Highway 191, a few little thunderstorms and then more bubbling up over into Colorado. The little cells earlier over Utah County, Orem, Provo area, they're gone, and we're actually dealing with some sunshine that's out in those temperatures. Quickly back up into those upper 80s for Ogden and Salt Lake. Vernal still cool at 70 degrees, but look at Rock Springs, 55 this afternoon. Man, so cool in St. George. Back at 100 degrees with Las Vegas at 102. As we look at kind of the big picture and what we were dealing with, this little bit of precipitation, we knew it was going to linger today, primarily over the Wasatch Mountains and into the Uintas, but we did have that little bubble up that hit the valleys. There's a low pressure center holding just off of the Pacific Northwest Coast and a high pressure that's bubbling back up over Southern California. This high is going to win out in this scenario, and we're actually going to get a couple of days of some dry and very warm weather returning to the state of Utah. So that precipitation nudges out to the east. We see temperatures start to rise over the next couple days, back to normal into the 90s. Still a few little uh, buildups over the UNS tomorrow, but every day as we roll on through Friday, get drier. But look what happens Saturday. By afternoon, a surge of southern monsoonal moisture comes in, moderate cells around Kanab, moderate rain through central Utah, and then I think we'll see a chance for some showers here in the north. And that pattern repeats Sunday and even into Monday here along the Wasatch Front. Sunny skies tomorrow with temperatures climbing. Upper 80s in Cedar City, 100 degrees in St. George, Mesquite to 106. Should be a nice, uh, nice sunny couple of days, but we'll only get a couple. Then we'll bring the chance of thunderstorms back in Saturday and Sunday to southern Utah. Highs in the 90s for a couple of days, then right back up into the 100s. Northern Utah tonight, clear skies. Should be a nice evening. And temperatures tomorrow will start to climb. We'll see a rebound upper 80s in Logan. Mid-90s in Salt Lake tomorrow. Ogden goes to 94. Overnight lows, though, 40s and 50s up in some of those mountain areas. And pretty soon, Deanie, those rides, you're going to start seeing some leaves I'm want to change. Looking. It's incredible how fast we just flip from summer to fall. Yep, I'm just going to I'm gonna see a red leaf <laughs> one of these days and go, ah. It's coming. Thanks, Kevin. You bet. All right, JJ.